video is all about this, the Bluetti PS72. And yes, Bluetti have sent me two of these, so we have one to give away. And it will be to a UK subscriber, and we'll tell you how to do that later in the video. Look at that weather out there. Not the best, is it? <laughs> but we're all nice and warm in the camper van. Sure are. <laughs> and they certainly don't want to go out. Anyway, let's have a look at this. So this is the PS72. It's a thousand watts and it's got um, a battery inside that will give 716 watt hours. So if you have something that runs on 700 watts or 716 watts, this would last for an hour out the AC output. It comes with three three pin plugs on the front, a pure sine wave or sound wave inver uh, inverter inside. Um, and that means it's safe to use with computer equipment and sensitive medical equipment. It has two USB-Cs and the standard USBs on here, these are 100 watts. And it has these little barrel connectors that we don't tend to use much in the UK, but you can use them for LED lights and other bits and pieces. And then it has the obligatory cigarette car socket, 12 volts. One thing I really like about power packs, and if you've seen my videos before, is I've having everything on the front and nothing on the back. The only thing this one has on the back is a light. Three settings, low, high, and the flashing. But a nice flat back, no vents or anything, so you can put it in a camper van against a wheel arch or up it in a cupboard. Vents on the side, you need to leave a space on this, but it would fit into a cupboard. On the top, it has these fold down handles, which are good. So you have a nice flat top, it doesn't take any room and there's no vents on there. And then you have your wireless charging for your phone on there, which is at 15 watts. So 15 watts wireless charging, the PD3 um, 100 watts, PD 300 watts, two of them, and then the standard USBs at five volts at three amps. These barrel ones are 12 volts at 10 amp, and this one here is 12 volts at 10 amps as well. There's no app with this one, so it's all controlled with the buttons, and you switch your DC on here and your AC on there and it has the simple standard display so it just gives you a percentage and a visual of how much power you've got in there and it'll show you how much power is going in from solar car charging or the mains and it'll show you how much is going out so this is a more standard than you'll find with some of the newer Bluetti units and all the inputs are here so you plug your mains charger in this your car charger in that and your solar and it'll take between 12 and 28 volts DC so if you have a truck or something that runs on 25 volts or 24 volts this will run it and a maximum of 200 watts so if you're putting solar into this it's a maximum of 200 watts so a closer look it's a nice looking unit as I say nice and compact There's those fold down handles and they are completely flat on there. But they're perfectly strong enough to carry it around. And you can carry it with one of them as well. The other thing with this is with having this type of handle on here, you can put a rope through that and fasten it up in a tree. So if you're camping, you can put this out of the way and keep it off the ground, which I think is quite a good idea, really. Power pack of this size, I would say, is sort of like the middle range one. It's not the real big ones and it's not the smaller ones, but it's still carryable. You can still take it around with you and really useful in the house and the camper van. So if you had a blackout at home, it would give you some power, run your TV and you could run a light off it and charge your phone. But in the camper van, it's the small power kettles, charging a laptop, any camera equipment, charging your phone, obviously, with the through charger on the top. It will run our sandwich maker, it will run our toaster, it will run our hot plate and it will run the charger for the e-bike as well. So it's quite versatile but just remember it's a thousand watt output. It does have a peak over that but that's the standard as it's running for a period of time. And the battery inside, the capacity of the battery is 716 watts. So if you was to run it at a thousand watts it'd last for three quarters of an hour roughly.
Well, we found these for sale on Bluetti's website. These are from Decathlon. You can find them in B&Q and they also on eBay under Bluetti. Bluetti's got an eBay account. As always, I'll put the um, links to all those in the description below. Just quickly in the cottage, we try all our power packs of this size and bigger in our off-grid setup. And if you haven't seen this before, our fuse box up here, which runs everything in the cottage, is linked to a transfer switch down here so we can plug in a power pack. So it's currently running everything in the cottage off the mains. I'll switch it off. It's gone. The lights have gone off, the TV's gone off. And now I've switched over to the generator. We don't have a lot of things running at the moment, but it's taking 660, 666 watts of power. Um, and that's running the lights, the internet, the TV and bits and pieces. And we always do this test because if I switch it over on that switch box, if the inverter in this isn't a quality one, it'll flick the fuses off. But it's perfectly all right on this one. Models. This is one of the older design models, but still a great piece of kit. If you um, have seen a recent video of mine, I reviewed, I think it's called an AC70, which is one of their brand new ones. But this is the older version of that. And there's some features on this that you don't get on the older one, like these barrel connectors, the through charging and the holder panels and a light. Um, so there's some advantages of having this, but the main difference is about what powers it from here. This is one of the older versions that has a power brick. So that's the power brick that comes with it and it has a fan in there and that fan runs all the time and it can be quite noisy as the new versions of power packs that are coming out they don't have the power pack they just have a thicker cable which we call a kettle lead on that plugs directly into the unit to charge it so that's a disadvantage of buying this older model but it's still a good piece of kit it still has the life of four um phosphate batteries inside it doesn't have an app and it has the older display but the display tells you widely what you need to have how much power is going in how much power is going out and how much power you've got left in there one thing it doesn't do is when you're running it it doesn't tell you how long it's going to run that piece of equipment for so you have to work that out yourself so as Bluetti's evolved you can see on that previous video I've just done with one of the most latest models they've come out with, you can see the differences now that they've evolved, but there's still nothing wrong with this. And of course, the advantage of this, when Bluetti brings something new out, these prices of these come down. It's still a good piece of kit. And I know money's tight for people at the moment, so there's an opportunity there to get yourself a bargain, and it's still a good piece of kit. So there we have it, the PS72. On special offer, older design, Great value and still a brilliant piece of kit. I wouldn't have any problems using this one and you might save you some money, save some money against some of the newer versions of them. And this might have some additional features from the newer models, but it does come with that big power brick, um, which is the main difference between the units and you don't get an app. So that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And we have got one of these brand new ones to give away in a box. And that's available to a subscriber and the subscriber needs to be in the UK I'm afraid and in a future video probably sometime in March we're going to announce all the winners for all the giveaways we've done recently we've done quite a few and we've got a few more to come so we'll announce them in a special video and we'll do it as we normally do we we'll do a random search through the comments so if you want one of these you need to add to the comments I want one we randomly search through, check that you're a subscriber, and if you're in the UK, you'll be the winner. And in that future video, we'll put a slide in of your comment to prove it's you, and we won't contact you in any other way. We'll cover all the costs, so be aware of any scammers contacting you on any other format and asking for any money for delivery because it's just purely a scam. I think we've got a system now that works really well and stops that happening, but just to be sure, I always like to mention it. So thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. And I'll see if I can convince these three to go out in the wet, cold, slush. It's a bit bleak. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go out? Do you want to go out? If I give you a treat when you come back, you want to go out? Do you want to go out? Hmm? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs>